hey guys so today i'm going to be showing you how i turn this wig into this wig so stay tuned Okay, so everything today is from Y Wigs, as you all can see. This is everything that they sent me in the packaging. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna be turning the wig into a braided wig. So this is the braiding hair that I used, and this is the actual wig. So this is a full lace wig. It's very, very thick. It's supposed to like mimic someone's natural hair, so it is perfect for braiding. Um, and it actually fit my head pretty well. So this is the um, hairline. I actually did not do any plucking with this install at all, which was amazing since I did go ahead and do some braids. But I am going to just bleach the knots of this entire unit. I used BW2 powder and 40 volume developer. <laughs> Okay, so this is the wig after I did bleach the knots, I shampooed it and conditioned it, and I just let it air dry. So I'm just showing you all how the actual like scalp looks, but now I'm gonna get into braiding. So for my parting spaces, I like to um, part my hair or part the wig. I parted this wig into um, sections first, and then I will put the wig back on just to make sure like the sections are um, position correctly for my head but as i was doing that i was seeing just how thick this wig was so i had to take it off and blow dry it first so like i said earlier i actually just let it air dry because that's what i like to do with all of my wigs but this one needed a good blow dry just like your natural hair would So after I finished blow drying the hair, I did section off three sections in the back, two at the very top, and then um, of course, two larger sections in the very front. So after that, I did take the wig off, put it on my head, and then make the individual sections for the braids. I did that just so that the actual braids would be proportionate to my head, instead of everything being like a surprise at the end when I finished the wig. So of course, I wanted to make the wig to my head so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the braids so I'm doing knotless braids I have two packs of braiding hair and I did use um, all of the hair in those two packs so um, within the two packs I used one pack for the um, back rows the three back rows and then I used the other pack for the um, crown of my head and the front so everything worked out with just two packs of hair and this braiding hair was really really nice so I loved it it didn't tangle it was super easy to um, pull apart and use so that was very nice but like I said I'm just doing um, knotless braids i have videos on my channel if you want like more in depth on how i do my knotless braids i'm actually not the best braider in the world so i like to just do stuff um kind of for fun you know but um i tried to do underhand braiding but i kind of forgot in the moment so it took me a minute to um kind of catch back on to how to do that so that's what i tried to do throughout the entire wig because i feel like underhand braids just look a little bit better 
but um yeah so that was it it was pretty easy once i got to this part it did take me a few days which was nice because i didn't have to rush like if i was doing my own head i would have tried to get everything done in one day just so that i'm not walking around with half of my head braided but with the wig i could stop come back stop come back super nice and then again like i already said you won't have to take the braids down or redo them when you want braids so this wig is definitely going to be a go-to i really enjoyed um the wig and how it looked so if you guys are interested the links are in the description box below of course i love this company i never have any issues with them so definitely check them out if not for this wig for something else but let me know what you guys think down below and be sure to subscribe like this video and i cannot wait to see you all in the next one